Well, joining me now is Gaynor Parkin, uh, the, um, uh, umbrella wellbeing psychologist and CEO. Uh, Gaynor, it was widely expected that the Prime Minister would change alert levels today, um, but that didn't happen. And I suppose that's just a reminder of the uncertainty that we're all still living in. Yeah, ex exactly. I think it took m many people by surprise, didn't it? And, and I think it does highlight that the f near future for, for all of us is, is still really unpredictable and uh, we're having to, to pivot um, on announcements and, and waiting for announcements. And it's very difficult, isn't it, without a, without a clear roadmap of, of where, we, where we're heading and what the milestones might be along the way impact do you think that that is having on us all, Gaynor? Because we're kind of getting used to it, aren't we? This is our new normal lockdowns, alert levels, changes, the, and these announcements from the Beehive, but it's not normal, is it? It's not a normal way to live. No, it's not. De definitely the feedback we're receiving is that I think people are, are pretty, pretty over it. I think many people are talking about feeling very fatigued, um, tired of the sort of roller coaster of uh, announcements, but also the lack of the lack of clarity along the way. I, I think as well, we know there's such, and your reporting just now highlighted this, there's such a diversity of responses. So for some people, the announcement today was was hugely disappointing, and, and clearly it's very difficult for businesses to continue to operate in this environment. And then there'll be other people who perhaps are more uh, anxious about COVID who were probably very relieved that we're staying at red um, because they're not needing to navigate um, go going to orange settings. So, so I think we can expect people's responses uh, will be really diverse. I imagine in your newsroom, there's probably really mixed mixed reactions depending on where, where people sit with their comfort levels. And when that move to orange does come, we've been told it might could come before Easter, but that is going to be another big change, isn't it? What is your advice to uh, businesses and employees over this, the time between now and then, I suppose, how to prepare for that moment? Yeah, it's, it's a really tricky one, isn't it? I, I think, think generally our, our advice would be that we need to be checking checking in with people when, and checking in with them regularly about their levels of, of comfort. Um, with with the settings changing and also with the um, mandates uh, dropping and vaccine passes not being um, required anymore. So, so again, I think some people will be perfectly fine about that, will probably be pleased through, through to a continuum of people who will probably be much more anxious and very worried about going into work and not, not knowing um, their sort of expo exposure risk. So I think it's going to be very general to have a, a one-size-fits-all um, approach. We're going to have to be much more um, individual and, and sophisticated about, about how we manage this and how we, how we support people in, in all the uncertainty. And Gaynor, there will be a lot of people too, or some, some people at least, who ha whose lives have changed in the past seven months since Auckland went into lockdown. They've been working from home. They might have decided they quite enjoy that, that the balance in their life is back. So that's another huge thing to navigate for that group, isn't it? Going back to the office even. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, again, um, that, that's very much up in the air at the moment. I think many organisations are... Um, sticking to working remotely if people are able to. Um, some organisations are looking at a, a hybrid model, so a mixed model of being in the office some of the time, working remotely some of the time. Of course, then if we've got our workforce who are needing to be um, at a physical site in order to do their job, and they, they don't have the option uh, to choose where they're working. So for those people, I think we need to put a bit more care and um, consideration about what they need to feel safe at, at work um, when they're needing to be needing to be um, more more frontline or more interacting with with more people. Absolutely, uh, Gaynor Parkin. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight.